I started working as an explainer uh, pretty much exactly a year ago. I kind of got introduced to all the different departments that they have here, uh, such as like biology department. And then here we had a um, machine shop and I, I guess I kind of started visiting and talking to a lot of um, people in the shop and a lot of them helped me to build some of the projects that I did, such as the laser communicator. I worked on this project with uh, Earl. This was a, a chance for her to come in and kind of investigate how a phenomena works. And this kind of a phenomena meets a technology. And so we went through the circuit and I kind of uh, helped guide her through designing a circuit that would work this way. Making things, such as like just building any sort of things, is kind of the thing that I like to do. Like I really got involved in it. So it gave her uh, an intro into doing simple uh, things like using a drill press or how to breadboard electronics, how a little bit of soldering, a little bit of, you know, even things like what's a good double stick tape to use. Put together, they provide a variety of shop skills that allow you to build things that can be used to make exhibits and demonstrations. Half of the uh, people in this shop are women and they're women with skills building exhibits. You know, the role models are here. From my perspective, the fact that I'm working in a machine shop and I'm pretty much doing the men's job is making me feel like I don't need someone in my life. So it made me more independent at the point where I don't have to listen to things like, oh, so what are you gonna do when you're gonna grow up and someone needs to fix, fix a sink for you or someone needs to, you know, through a light bulb for you. I, right now, I know what I can do all about by myself. So in my life, I know that I can just move on and I do not need someone by my side helping me out. I met her because she actually sought me out and said she wanted to come and shadow me for a couple of days. And so I sort of got to know her and then she asked about doing this. Uh, so the, the entire initiative on, in her case has come from her. She's learned to weld. She, we got uh, Nicole to show her and then uh, after she'd been doing it a while, Nicole checked back in with her. She welded up the bench over there for pedal generator. Um, and she's about to weld a support strut for me. When I work on the exhibit or when I work on any part, it makes me it makes me feel happy. I feel relaxed. I um, it actually gets me to think about a lot of things while I'm in the process. The fact that I'm actually creating something that is being used, I I mean I always wanted to have a job that would be actually useful. I always wanted to actually know what I have an impact on the people around me and I feel like by making exhibits this is one of those jobs that can actually make a difference and even though I'm not making a difference on a global level but at least I know what all the kids that come here they will leave this place with the knowledge of something and I actually help to create that. I think she's enjoying being here working in the shop I told one kid one time who said, what are we going to do? Something had messed up. What are we going to do? And I go, look, we are the Exploratorium Machine Shop. Physical reality presents no problems. And then I heard that back for the next year and a half. So I didn't say that anymore. <laughs>